wrapped up this GTR. <laughs> Wrapped up this GTR, our flex fuel kit, our intake kit, three inch, full exhaust. It's got a Tomei Supreme titanium cat back. Sounds wicked on the dyno. ID1300 CC injectors, drop in AEM fuel pumps. And here are the results on 91 octane, very healthy 570 wheel and 582 foot pounds of torque. That's the blue curve, making about 19 pounds of boost there, 4,700 RPM. You'll notice on E85, it peaks at, at the same 4700 because of the turbos on the GTR. They're not overly big. It's kind of like a 2560R turbo. Uh, they peak, you know, right around mid 400s. E85, 658, almost 660, and 640 torque. So really outstanding, healthy car. Now it's time to do a little bit of rolling launch. So earlier today, we had the AMS Chicago folks come out. Really awesome. They hooked us up with some aluminum vice jaws. So if we're building AN fittings, lines, we put these in our vice. Let's take a look at what we got in here. All right, so check that out. Hell yeah. Magnets so that it'll stay on the vice and it won't damage your fittings. So these are rad. Thank you guys. And along with that, we also got a really badass kit here. Look at this. A whole set of AN wrenches. Look at that. Really cool. Even the big dog, look at that. 16 goes up to 20 as well. So look at that. Oh yeah, very cool. Thank you guys. And last but not least, some t-shirts and some really badass air fresheners. Thank you, AMS Chicago. We appreciate it. Hey guys, we got Billy's Nismo twin turbo here today. Fast intentions kit, built motor. We're gonna do a little bit of 91 octane tuning. We've got our equipment here. He actually did the build on this bad boy himself. The cool thing about it, it's got lower compression, which I tend to favor nowadays, especially on pump gas. We'll be able to make a little bit more power than we could on factory 11 to one compression. And we actually get more power per pound of boost with lower compression. So there's a good video from D-Sport that talks about this and uh, I'm excited to see what we can do on 91. Billy can talk about 
his Z. Yeah, it's a early Fast Intentions twin turbo kit. It's numbered 006. It's been an awesome kit. Recently, we went away from the stock engines, went to a, a nine to one forged internal build and upgraded turbos as well. They're still 2860s, but they're newer tech than the original Fast Intentions stage one kits. So yeah, should make some power now. All right, so once again, we're gonna get this bad boy set up. This are knock headphones set up so we can listen, actually hear what the knock sensors are doing, what they're picking up, make sure we hear the knock and also filter out if there's any false positives as well. So again, this is what I always do. This is really the only way to positively identify knock. We're gonna connect this to the ECU and we're just gonna piggyback so we can hijack the signal for the knock sensors while they can still work to their job. All right, let's get to work. to 15 pounds of boost on Billy's twin turbo Z. And what we're running into right now is a little bit of slip. We need to determine if that's from the tires against our shiny baby smooth butt drum. We've prepped the tires with VHT, lower tire pressure, got Billy in the back for added weight. And here's a perfect example of what you can see, how the tire slip works. You know, obviously you can hear it when you're making the dyno pass, but this line needs to be as straight as an arrow. And you can clearly see how it dips considerably right here. So this is going to affect our readings here. See how it kind of drops down and then it kind of starts to go back up. So you can see the correlation here. I'll pull up another chart. So one of the previous passes, you can see how much straighter this line is. So, you know, you can, you're seeing slip from, from right around here, right there, big chunk right there. We'll prep the tires a little bit more, maybe get a second body in the back and um, we'll find out what we got. Here's our follow-up guys. So we put a second body, we prepped the tires a little bit more and you can see the difference just in doing that. So we determined that it's just tire slip on the roller. This last pass in red, you can see how much straighter that is versus the pass before that, before we did the prep. Look at the difference here. So way straighter and then look at the, the gains in, in power, right? It's showing the true power and torque that it's it's putting down. We didn't make any other changes to the tuning. We're gonna do, everything still sounds good uh, on our knock levels through our headphones. We're right around 15 pounds of boost, 15 and a half. We'll go ahead, bring it up another pound or two on 91 octane, lower compression, and we'll see what we can make. All right, everybody. So we've just wrapped up, final pass, 91 octane. On Billy's twin turbo, here's where we're at. 594 to the tire, 568 foot-pounds of torque. Did really well, got, got it up to almost 18 pounds of boost and um, surprised again with the amount of boost and of course the octane, it did really well. Uh, Billy drives this thing and since he's put it together in December, he's already put 8,000 miles on it. So this thing's been back and forth from California to Tennessee. It sees its fair share of use. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun, so. 85 maybe in the future definitely get some more power out of it obviously we can't go crazy with ignition timing that's another avenue but i think it's going to have a, a lot of fun trying to control all that torque 